James here from All Hail Internal Combustion. We're here back on our General Joe's Pit Bike Special. So we're going to go ahead and get started and work some of the bugs out on this. Before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe. You know we need you, so go ahead and subscribe because we'll have plenty of cool content coming up. The more subscribers we get, the cooler the content will get. So we're going to go over this thing. If you watched the last video, the kill switch completely collapsed when I went to turn the bike off so I could talk. It thought it was more important than me, I guess. Uh, got no choke ch um, clutch lever. I kind of robbed it for my Honda when I did some crazy stuff on my Honda and dumped it and broke my clutch cable. It's a dual sport, so you know, you got to do wild stuff with it. So we'll get that on there. We're going to do the kill switch. We're going to also modify the exhaust. So I already prepped and took the screws out of this to pull the plastics off. And uh, this is actually a pipe I modified a long time ago from a motorized bicycle. Because the pipe they had on here was annoying as hell. It was really loud. It's just obnoxious. Uh, and I actually feel like it got a little bit faster by closing the exhaust up because I'm sure they didn't jet it up when they put the bigger exhaust on it. So we're going to kind of get it settled here in a nice spot. We're going to put a piece of strap steel out around here to hold this pipe in place and we're going to cut all these wires off so the pipe's in a nice healthy spot. So I think that's pretty much it that we got to do other... Oh, and the front tire is flat. I'm not sure if maybe the inner tube blew... Uh, I think I have another inner tube around for this, so, you know, you might get to watch me struggle taking these little tires off these rims, because they are, they're not fun at all. <laughs> the struggle is real. Yes, if you've ever done a mini bike tire like this, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So, uh, we could go ahead and start off by just taking this kill switch apart. Uh, we kind of already figured if this ends up being broken, we're just going to weld a tab on here and put a push-button momentary switch right here next to the throttle so we still have a kill switch. So, go ahead and uh, get my Phillips screwdriver out and take this apart. See if it's salvageable. It doesn't look like it will be, but you never know. You know, that nice plastic's been sitting in the sun, getting all gross and... this yeah it doesn't look like there's much going on in there I'm sure this is just a ground switch looks like it's seized up everything's seized up in there try to push everything out it doesn't look like it's gonna move I'd say uh, instead of futzing with this we might just go ahead and do our switch so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this wire Cut this off. Cut this off so we could see what the wiring was. I'm guessing it's a Two wires it's probably just a ground to ground the ignition coil out so it shuts off so that's pretty easy we just need a two-way toggle a monetary switch we'll uh weld a tab we'll get our switch weld a tab on there wire it in there and the kill switch will still be up on the handlebars for safety because that's our main concern uh another thing we need to do is new fuel line and we're pretty sure this is how the water got in the gas tank you know the rain probably honed in on this little hole right here and just filled that sucker up. So, yeah, we're going to clean this thing down a little bit and get that muffler mounted. So, we'll get right back with you. We're going to make that tab and show you how we get that done. Okay, so I'm going to fab the bracket up for the exhaust. And all I did was went out and grabbed a 
piece of old nasty scrap steel that was out in our scrap steel bin and made a mark on there and a straight edge to make the bracket so I'm going to go ahead and cut that off and pop a few holes in it and round a few edges and make sure that this edge goes along with my exhaust good and then I'll uh, get everything ready to actually weld this tab onto the exhaust and bolt it to the bike. I also have to unbend the bracket that's on the bike now. Alright, so while my dad was working on the bracketry for the muffler, I uh, got impatient because I couldn't find a momentary switch. I just took this household switch I had laying around and cut the tabs off of it. Since this was two wires, I just put a wire to either and tested it, and it works. So, until I buy a momentary switch, I just figure this will work for now. Seal it up. Put it right there on the handlebars, and I'd say that's pretty safe. That's dead, and that's alive, you know. Right there off the throttle, you can kill it real quick. So. And you'll find that most of your like $275 Craigslist cars actually come with this switch in place of pretty much anything that broke <laughs> inside of them. So this should really be nothing new to anybody. <laughs> Alright, this is what I got figured out for the exhaust. I cut my bracket. Figure I did a little stylish with a swoopy on it. And uh, bent it out here a little bit. Bent it back in here so it comes in with the muffler. I just got to tweak it a little bit this way so it lines up good then i'll go ahead and strike a line across here cut it and then we'll go ahead and weld this thing to the exhaust pipe and uh once it's in i can actually take this and bend it a little bit so that, that way it's not tapping on the frame or doing anything crazy and we can go ahead and cut our uh speaker wire nightmare that's going on back here and make this thing look sort of not trashy again all right, so we've gotten a lot of stuff done so far. My pops finished up the, the exhaust bracket. We tightened it down pretty tight, not rattling against the frame or nothing. So that's done. We cleaned our gas tank off and got all that nasty stuff off of there. Finished mounting my switch with some zip ties and zip tied the rest of that in. And we secured the front plate a little bit better. Cut a spot for that. I'm going to put my clutch cable together and show you guys how we uh, redo our cables. So, like, this cable still works nice. You know, I didn't mess with the adjustments or anything because, you know, as far as I know, it was in adjustment. Uh, but, you know, there's a few raw spots that I went ahead and taped over. So, uh, what I do, actually, is I get here at the end and I use Marvel Mystery Oil and just drop it down in the hole and work it and work it and work it until it starts dripping out the other side. So as you see, this is nice and easy now. No problems. So I'm going to go ahead and feed this back into the bike. It's right in through here. Through this little metal tang loop here. You know, I could probably took and taking the gas tank off, but what fun would that be? It goes down here. And this has a little slot in it. Now this had a rubber boot, but it was all dry rotted and falling apart. So I just got rid of it. Normally that would keep mud and dirt from going inside. But yeah, see it's got a little slot in it. That goes over the cable pull it up and that slides through this tab on the motor there keep that kind of tight there all right then you have this side there we go I'm pulling the cable out make sure everything's seated in there good and I just take my new my actually old clutch handle stick this through there I'll go get that lever on there ahead of time. Make sure that's through. And you take this right here and it goes in in the notch, just like a bicycle. If you've ever worked on any of those. 
time. Stretch the cable. Sometimes if you rest the barrel on the edge and then pull with the lever, it'll give you enough to get that barrel in place. Well, then tighten that down. I usually make sure it's uh this is kind of weird with the plastic on it, but feels like it works the clutch all right. So this is your cable tension if you have slop in your handle, which actually you should have uh what on motorcycles it's like a quarter Usually inch a little less than a quarter inch quarter inch of play before it actually disengages the clutch you know you want a little bit of play in that guy so we also have a barrel adjustment down here we can do if we decide we want to do that uh, but I'll probably just leave this cable loose like this so it can move when the handlebars turn but that's good that's good to go I'd say that clutch is good I think our uh a shifter works just fine I also clean the chain up real good and I spray it down with some lube I think I have some dryer lube around here somewhere for this chain lube uh, so we'll get that coated uh, let's go ahead and try to fill the front tire up I think that's the last thing on the list all right so this tire feels like it has some air in it so Oh my. I would say no, there is no more air inside of that inner tube. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> it's just that dirt bike tire is that stiff. So, that'll do it for tonight. It still fires up. Uh, I tested it when we came back out today. ready to ride well it's all hail internal combustion like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time